Hey guys, it's Joanne. Wanted to come on with another week of encouragement. I don't know how you're feeling this morning, but I woke up with the knowledge that at least in New Jersey, we will now be on shelter, um, shelter in place till April 30th. So I am waking up feeling like I need to kick myself into high gear in the way of perseverance. <laughs> um, I've got, I know now I've got another month of um, running this race that looks very much like homeschooling four kids and um, trying to do my work still with my ministry at church and um, stay sane. So much like you, we've got, some of us have more going on than we normally do, um, while others have less going on and you're sitting in your thoughts. Um, so I think all of it looks like struggles at times. So I wanted to come on again with another week's encouragement, as I always do, but I thought this week, you know, some of the things I share may sound idealistic or um, maybe uber positive, and that's how I like to focus, but I think sometimes it's not as practical as maybe you may need. So I thought this week I could come on and each day offer some kind of a practical tip for you, um, ways that you can stay sane, maintain peace, um, continue on persevering with faith and hope and positivity. So some of these tips are from me and some of them I'm going to be researching because I need tips right now just as much as you do. I need encouragement right now just as much as you do. So on this Monday, the first one I was thinking about was how we all have so many worries. Many of us have fears right now of the unknown, um, maybe disappointments. Some of us are grieving certain things. I know I was planning a very large event that was going to happen on May 1st and May 2nd, and I just decided today I'll have to postpone that to the fall. So I'm grieving that for sure um, today. So I, un I understand, you know, we're all in this. So I was thinking about that, just all of the worries and the fears that are kind of running through our minds and affecting our spirits and affecting our emotions. What can we do with that? And um, my encouragement to you is that, um, you know, I use the Bible as my compass, but the Bible talks again and again and again about how praying um, can bring you peace and connection and positivity and um, can lighten your spirit. You can, you've heard, probably heard this before, but, um, you know, give it to God, that sort of thing. So that's really what prayer is. It's a conversation with God and you're telling him your fears. And I thought, first of all, remembering that, that we have an outlet, we can give our burden and our worry and the weight that you might feel in your spirit away. Give it to God. Um, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, it says, pray continually. In Matthew 6, 9, and these are just a few. It talks about this in the Bible everywhere if you do your own research. But in Matthew 6, 9, it says, but when you, when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen, who sees what is done in secret. He will reward you. Um, Ephesians 6, 18, always keep praying for all of God's people. Again and again and again. So I thought, practical tip would be to take a minute, go into a room, find some quiet, and write down all of your worries and fears. Grab a notebook. Okay, you probably can't see this, but it says worries. Write them all down. Okay, be honest with yourself. What are you worried about? What are you fearful about today? Write it all down. What are you grieving? What are you missing? Write all that stuff down. Anything that's feeling heavy and keeping you weighted down and keeping you from joy um, and happiness during this time, because I understand and I think it's very real for all of us. So that's my encouragement to you. Write it all down. Okay, that's step one. Step two, go over each one and ask God to give you peace about that, to give you contentment in that area, to give you wisdom whatever it is you're seeking, go through each one, okay? Give it to God today. Write them down, give it to God. I'm not saying it's gonna be magically fixed overnight, but God will provide you peace. He wants us to seek him. So that's my advice today, okay? Put your worries down, faith over fear. Put your worries down, take some quiet time today to pray over each one and give it to God. I'd love to hear from you if you're struggling, if you just need somebody to chat with, if you need some positive encouragement that's more personal, please message me. I'm here for you, okay? All right, ladies, live strong, stay in the spirit, and I'll be with you again tomorrow for some more practical tips.
talk to you soon. Bye.